Hello and welcome to the January House. This is Mike. Today's video is on how to create categories for your item listings in your eBay store. It's very easy to do and can help potential buyers find similar items when they come and shop in your store. So let's jump over to the computer and we'll check it out. Okay, so from the main eBay page, you will want to hover over your name and then click on your store name. And that will take you to this page. And from here, you'll want to click on this visit store link. And that will take you to the front page of your store. And you can see the front page of my store here. And if I scroll down a little, I can show you some of my categories here on the left hand side. So to add a category, you'll want to go to this manage my store link. Click on that. And that will take you to the Manage My Store page. And on the left hand side of the screen, under Store Design, you'll see a Store Categories link. You'll want to click on that. And that will take you to the Store Category page. And you can see some of the store categories I have here. And to add a category, you'll go over to the right hand side and click this Add Category button. And that will bring up a page that will allow you to add up to five st store categories at a time. And you'll click in the box and you'll add the store category. So mine is going to be Vintage G.I. Joe Accessories. Okay. And then you'll come down here to Save. You click Save. And then it says you successfully created store categories. And it does take a few minutes uh, to appear on your front page of your store, but you should be able to see it here on this page at the bottom, Vintage GI Joe Accessories. So to create a subcategory within that category, you will click on the category you just made, and it'll give you a little bit of information here on how to do that. but. What you'll want to do is go over to Add Category button again, and click that, and now you are under the Vintage GI Joe Accessories category. So you can add subcategories. So for me, that would be clothing and maybe weapons. Okay, and then you hit Save. And it says you've successfully created store categories. Your changes will appear in a few minutes. So it, it takes a little bit of time. Um, but what that will allow you to do is when you're creating a new listing, such as this one here. So I have a um, rifle that I want to list, uh, an accessory. So I typed in the title and then you come here to store categories the default is always other but you can use this drop down and you'll see this new category that you created there's the clothing one here's the weapon so I'll click on that and eBay will actually allow you to have two store categories for one item so maybe somebody is looking under toys instead of Vintage GI Joe accessories. So you can have two categories uh, for the same item within your store. And then you'll finish creating the listing and hit save and list, and then it will successfully be in your store categories. So it's definitely helpful uh, if you have multiple uh, items of the same type, like DVDs or comic books or GI Joe accessories. Uh, if a customer is looking at one item and might want to purchase another similar item, they don't have to look through all of these results, these pictures, and go to different pages to find those items. So I'll give you an example, and I'm not picking on this person's store, but this person has 173 items in their store. 
and they do not have any category listings. And it seems like they sell mostly clothing items, which is great. Uh, all these items look really cool. But there's 173 items, and it's not all clothing. As you can see, there's some there's some different things in there. Here's a uh, golf bag. Uh, and there's some shoes. And they have four pages of things. And if I wanted something cool, like computer ink that this person sells, I'd have to come to the fourth page. It's the very last item. And it's actually a pretty good price, $6 with free shipping for this HP ink. If I had that type of printer, I would definitely look to purchase that. But would I really scroll through 173 pictures to find that ink in this person's store if I was uh, wanting to buy a hat and see if they had other items? Probably not. Uh, so you can see it's a little easier to have store categories in your store and if I was buying one DVD and I clicked on the DVD category I could see the listings for all of my other DVDs in my store versus scrolling through multiple multiple pages to find a DVD listing. So that's it. It's pretty easy and will help customers find similar items when they're looking to make multiple purchases within your store. If you like what you saw in today's video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thanks.